A new Google Nexus 10 is in the works according to some Samsung sources. LG G Flex renders point to more carriers getting into and HTC's future flagship seems to be including some new camera lenses. I'm Jaime Rivera and probably one of the coolest things about this week is how short it was. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as I know some of you are still in the market for the Microsoft Surface Pro 2. As it turns out, the company has just upgraded the processor and the GPU as well. And even though these are minor upgrades, it's always best to have newer hardware. So make sure you look out for that. Links in the description for full details on the specifics of this processor so that you make an educated buy before you do. Now, ZTE is a company that's trying to make a big splash in the United States, and after we reviewed their ZTE Nubia 5, it was a decent phone. But the company's planning a lot for CES. They've already made their list official. We're getting a smartwatch with Bluetooth and pedometer capabilities, which is interesting for, you know, those people that are out there for working out. And then aside from that, we've also got a ZTE Grand S2 with some interesting specifications, aside from a 5.7-inch tablet with a 720p display, which is not really that good. But anyways, look at the description for full specifics. We'll definitely be covering this when we get to CES 2014. And for those of you interested in the LG G Flex in the United States and not paying $1,000 to get it unlocked, uh, well, we've already got the Sprint renders, but we've also got some new renders now for T-Mobile and AT&T. We still don't have specifics on these because these are probably just renders towards the carriers for them to negotiate. It's probably not something that's final, but anyway, CES 2014 could be the day, so stay tuned for that event. Now, probably one of the oddest rumors for CES 2014 is that apparently Google and Samsung are planning to launch the new Nexus 10. And the reason why this is odd is because we never get any of these sort of events from Google at trade shows. They do their own thing or they don't at all. But apparently this could be the news. We could be getting a new Nexus 10 and we've been waiting for it for a long time. So let's see what we get. We were expecting an Asus tablet, so let's see. And finally, for the very hot news of the day, we get more details on the HTC M8, which would be the successor to the M7, aka HTC One. And while we do get a 4.9-inch 1080p display, aside from the fact that we are getting a fingerprint scanner, which is not something we'll celebrate, but even more interesting, apparently the company is bringing interchangeable lenses to this camera, which was one of the biggest quirks we had with the original HTC One, the fact that we only had a 4-megapixel camera. So let's hope that aside from that interchangeable lens thing, they also bring us a bigger set Sensor. But anyways, that leads us to the question of the day. Would you be compelled to buy an HTC One next year, or whatever they're gonna call this phone, if they brought interchangeable lenses? In my case, this is one thing that I've wanted for the longest of times, but I would rather something that is not so cumbersome. You know, probably we have this case where you can adapt these lenses, and whenever you need them, you just pull them out and swap them, and it's something really simple. But leave us a comment down below. Let's see what we get. And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.